All right, third time's the charm. This, I changed my mind. Instead of doing the parallel universes video, I'm just gonna go through super weapons. So, go anthrax. It spreads through the environment, which makes it really good, but ultimately it only hurts human settlements. So, lowest. Fusion Bomb. Takes out the whole settlement, but no radioactive waste, so it could be re-inhabited. Salted Hydrogen Bomb. Specifically made to produce a load of radioactive waste, so uh, not only does it... L it's worse at leveling the city, but still, it the bad thing is it remains that way. War, war never changes. Fallout. Zombie virus. Need I say more? Orbital bombardment. Made famous by Call of Duty ghosts. A load of, basically, you shoot a telephone pole and it's, and unfortunately, it's more powerful than a nuke. And if you use it on the moon, it's way more powerful than a nuke. So, use, instead of using a telephone pole, if you use something big enough, you could render the planet uninhabitable. And with any matter bombs, that's even easier, because it's 100% efficient, and basically, a single grape has, if you could unlock the power of a single grape, you could have a bigger blast than Hiroshima. That's what any matter does. Any matter it touches is converted to energy, so big boom, 100% efficient, instead of 1% efficient like a nuke. But Supernova wipes out a whole system and also a lot of a lot of the systems around it. Uh, a big star explodes, bam. Black hole. What's left of the supernova makes basic a giant wharf that devours you, stretches you like spaghetti, and shoots death rays of X rays outwards to cook you. First. Nanite swarm. Robots that turn tiny robots that turn all the material it touches into more nanites. Wipe out. But a lot of coincidences have to happen for it to take out the universe. Strange alerts, now no coincidence is needed. One particle, wave of darkness, universe gone, just like that. If you like this video, uh, try liking, commenting, and subscribing. It really helps. Bye.